I've been at the defense ministry for us today. Thank you. The South Korean government has also proposed to restart reunions of families separated by the Korean War. For more details, we connect live to our Kim Hesong at the Korean Red Cross in Seoul. Hesong. Hi, Sammy. The Korean Red Cross proposed to start meetings for the reunion of separated families at Panmunjom's Peace House on August 1st. The acting president of the Korean Red Cross, Kim Son Hyang, said it's rare to hold such briefings, but given the urgency with most of the separated family members over age 80, the reunion of separated families is a critical humanitarian issue that comes before politics. As for the participating member of the talks, the Korean Red Cross said three members from the South, including Secretary General of the Korean Red Cross, Kim Gan jung will attend. This proposal is seen as a follow-up measure of President Moon Jae-in's Berlin declaration suggesting restarting the union of separated families in light of the truth of Korea's Thanksgiving on October 4th. I see, Hesang, but the North will have to reply in order for the meeting to actually take place. That's right. It remains to be seen whether the North will accept the proposal as it's still demanding South Korea to repatriate 12 female North Koreans who defected to the South last year. The Korean Red Cross asked its counterpart from the North to reply through the Panmunjom Red Cross office. If the North accepts, it will be the first time since 2015 to hold such talks. The reunions remain a highly emotional affair and are widely viewed as a barometer of inter-Korean politics, inter-Korean relations. Around 19,000 Koreans have been allowed to participate in 20 rounds of face-to-face -face reunions since 1985 when the first gatherings were held. Yet 60,000 South Koreans are waiting for a chance to meet their family members, and more than half are very elderly in their 80s or older. Back to you, Simon.